Good morning. We get asked a lot how we uh, adjust the size of the curtain wall mullions. Um, our standard back curtain wall is two and a half by seven and a half inches. I just got a call that someone needs a two inch by seven and a half, two inch by six inch system. And how do they change that? Well, all of the systems the core of them are based on profiles. So what you have to understand is that a curtain wall mullion is base, uses a profile. So the shape of that profile is what drives the size of the mullions. So what you need to do, if you don't need this type at all anymore, we can just redo the profile for this type and then come back and rename everything if you need to have both a 2.5 by 7.5 and a 2 by 6, you would need to do a lot of duplication, which you can do if you need them both, not a big deal. But it's all gonna start down here at the very bottom. So if we look at these curtain wall mullions, we're gonna see, for example, that we have a standard, bunch of different standard sizes, and here's the beginning of our standard aluminum two and a half by seven and a half. These are all the pieces you need to change to the different size. If you just double click on those, you will see that they are utilizing profiles. So we're gonna go find these profiles and revise those sizes and it'll update the mullion. So let's go down to our profiles and you will see the name, they are named the same so you can find them easily. So here's the curtain wall standard, and you can see this. So if we're gonna keep the old system, we would duplicate this and have a two inch by six inch, et cetera. In this example, I'm not gonna do that because this person doesn't need that. So I'm just gonna rename this two inch by six inch. And then I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna leave everything the same except I'm gonna subtract out one inch from here. And then I'm going, oh, I also need to, since it is now not a two inch, or two and a half, but it's two inch, I'm gonna change that to two inches as well. And we're gonna repeat that process for every one of these profiles. Rename, two inch. Click. Oh shoot! I need a. I did bad. Bad math. This needs to be an inch and a half different. Forgive me. So I'm gonna change that to five inch and two inch. And I've got to go back. And so you can see it pause there for a second. It's regenerating. see down at the bottom it's giving you the total size so we're gonna keep knocking through each of these so this is gonna shrink an inch and a half and this is gonna shrink two inch and I'm gonna rename it see all this is happening here we're gonna I'm gonna pause my video here while I finish the all right so I've got just a couple more to do here we're gonna rename you get the idea do, do. six inch One more and then we're done. It is a little bit tedious, but then your model's correct and that's worth the time to have your model correct. And there we go. Rename. Okay, now your system is all updated. So if I were to now draw we need to do now is if I go down to curtain wall, our 
standard. We'll want to rename it because <clears throat> now it's really a 2 by 6. And note the mullions, I have not renamed the mullions yet, only the mullion profile. So you see those still say that. But if we go and draw with this wall and we were to measure it, we will see that that's now six inches. So if we go and look at our, our standard mullions that we just changed the profile, and you can see the profile changed, the name didn't. So then you would go through this process of naming these as well, or renaming rather. And you are in good shape, so I'm going to run through and rename these. You get the idea. I hope this helps. Happy curtain walling. Bye-bye.